Okay, now we're going to talk about definition two and example eight, which are kind of both restatements of the same thing, which are both restatements of something that we said earlier. I'm just kind of reiterating it. Um, so definition two is what we call the characteristic function. The characteristic function is defined as one if, and really I should put in, you know, if some X is a member of set A and it's defined as zero if X is not a member of set A. That's it. That's the characteristic function. Um, so the domain is set A and the range is zero or one, which that, that's an important thing to remember about the characteristic function. Um, then in example eight, they just restate that and say, you know, if subset A has n elements, right? And if we list it as, you know, A sub one, A sub two, A sub three, all the way up to A sub n, because there are n elements. Um, by the way, notice I'm using parentheses. That's to imply order uh, because for the next definition, we need to have a certain order. So then we can define X as a sequence, and they're using little epsilons. I'm not super good at drawing epsilons, but I'm not super good at drawing anything. Uh, epsilon one, epsilon two, epsilon three, all the way up to epsilon sub N. These are going to be zero or one, depending on whether each epsilon is a member of set A. All right, so why? Why do we care about this? You know, the, the characteristic function isn't particularly useful for, by itself, but it is really useful when we want to answer the question, how many potential subsets are there in set A? Well, for each of these epsilons, there's two possibilities, zero or one. So there are two possibilities that the first one is a member of A, there are two possibilities that the second one is, two possibilities whether the third, third one is or not, all the way down until you get to the last n. So essentially, you have two to the n potential subsets of set A. That is how we define, or that is how we, we, we prove the cardinality of the power set of set A. So the number of sets in the power set is two to the n. How do we know it's two to the n? Because of the characteristic function. That's the only way that we use the characteristic function in this class. Remember, if you have any questions, ask them in the forum below.